Okay, I've got a pretty good variety of uh, capacities here. I've only got two 2600 milliamp. So we're going to stick these way up here out of camera range. Unfortunately, these are all 25s. And then I've got 24s. I got two 24s. I've got four 22s. Got a lot of 21s. And I got 23s. And these are 19 to 20. In fact, some of these are even down um, in the teens. So, um, unfortunately, not the greatest collection of batteries here. So, let's arrange them, count them, and then uh, figure out if I've got enough to even begin building my pack. Okay, I have got 49 cells here. I really thought I had more. But now that I think about it, that's about the number I had. And I used nine of them for the 12 volt pack. Um, so if I add those nine for the second 12 volt pack, I'll have 58 cells altogether. I need 60 in order to build the big pack. Uh, these are each hold 20 cells. And I would need to build one more of these. To build the big pack I want to build. Uh, but the problem here is capacity. They are, some of these are very low. Uh, this is the highest capacity, 2600 and 25s, a lot of 25s, 24s, 23, 22, 21s, and then um, some of those got rolled over, but they're 20, 21, 20s. 20s and then we go to 19s then the last one the very very last one is a 1689 uh, I definitely wouldn't use that one and I'd be questioning whether I should use the ones under 2000 milliamp hours because they're going to be in a pack of 26 and 2500 milliamp hours that's probably not a good thing to do uh, so I don't know. I definitely will need to buy more batteries, buy more packs. So I'm not in a big hurry to do this. Um, and, uh, you know, might as well put these back in the box and just let them sit uh, in my handy little, cool little boxes that i got to work. And uh, I'll mark them, keep, uh, I'll keep track of, of the milliamp hours on them so they'll all be in line. I'll do three boxes and uh, just store them like that. In the meantime, I suppose I'm going to need to buy some more packs, uh, some more used laptop packs, and uh, be dealing with them like that before I can really do anything. And I don't even know about using these uh, because they're kind of unsafe. I want, really, really honestly want to be able to fuse each cell to the bus bar. And I suppose I could do it using these, but I don't know. I talked about that earlier. If one cell went bad, um, it could ultimately cause a big problem. So having each single cell fused, it means I got a solder on them. And I don't like that idea. So I got a lot of considering to do. But in the meantime, I'm going to put these cells back in their box and number them and just store them away. Um, it's not going to hurt the slightest bit. In fact, it's good to just store them away and um, see what they do over time. So I guess that's kind of going to be it for my battery and solar panel deal. So my next thing to do would be to be experimenting with the solar panels and seeing how they work. The homemade solar panels are just sitting here in the spare bedroom. Um, basically doing nothing. They're just waiting to be used. Still got plenty of snow out here uh, gumming up the works. It's very cold. It is a nice bright sunny day as I was saying. But unfortunately the sun is so far to the south that it's almost unusable as all those lovely next storm clouds come rolling in. Uh, by the way, the property owner over here came and took the tree away about two hours ago. I heard chainsaws out here running. 
Um, they had uh, they had several trees down over there across the fence, so they were more than nice enough to come all the way over here and remove that one. That is way way cool. They really didn't have to do that, but they did, and I'm very grateful for that. So anyway. Waiting for the seasons to change so I can get the solar panels out here and experiment with that. So I guess that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching.